So Aaron was uh, fascinated with the red dot and the white dot on the forehead at the Hindu temple and uh, Urnima is going to put some on Aaron's forehead because Aaron is very very interested to try that. We saw the priest inside doing the puja and uh, it was really nice. We saw the arati going on and we had the uh, offering, the charanamrita we call from God. Yeah, okay. the blessing from the priest as well. Fantastic, yeah. Very lovely, very calm inside. Everyone is very contemplative and there's aroma of the incense. A lot of color, a lot of, um, you know, visual stimulation. So you see, after, after a while, after queuing, and we have got our food and uh, we are just sitting and we're ready to eat. We have ordered a lot. Hello morning and it's a fantastic day in Sydney and uh, we are waiting for our friend Aaron because we have a great plan to go around few places in New South Wales near Sydney and uh, we are waiting for Aaron and hopefully he will be coming soon. I think that's Aaron's car, isn't it? That white car should be Aaron's. By the way, this is Qantas headquarter in Sydney. Ah, I think this is Aaron. Hi Aaron, we have been waiting for you. How are you? Good. It's I'm been it's been two years we haven't seen each other. Long time no see. Yeah, fantastic. I, I should introduce Aaron. He's Aaron Zimmerman, and uh, we know each other for last eight years. So today, Ritavan. Fantastic. We're and go check out that Indian temple. Indian temple, and, and then, we're then go to the rail museum. Yeah, we're so go. we'll be we'll be going to the New South Wales Rail Museum and. There will be a steam rail that we will be trying. We have booked our ticket beforehand. So it's going to be a fun day. Yeah, I can't let's wait. Let's start our own. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Fantastic. So as Aaron mentioned that our first stop will be Sri Venkatesha temple in Helensburg. We are not religious and I don't know Aaron, are you religious? I'm not religious. But uh, I asked Aaron that where shall we go? I mean every time we come to Sydney and we meet Aaron and Aaron drives us somewhere. And uh, so what he said, okay, let's go to this temple. I don't know what's the reason behind it. But I think it's a good choice because uh, I was reading on the website of the temple and uh, they say that they started developing this project in 1978 and they completed it in 1985. And so since then it has been in use as a temple, Hindu temple obviously. To build a Hindu temple you always need to have five elements. The five elements are virgin land, a forest, ideally an island water source, plenty of water source and a coastal line. So all of that are met at that location at Helensburg yeah. and that's why that spot was selected. It's so in a, it's in a really good spot, Ritterbahn. It's just near the Royal National Park. So it's a lovely area, a um, lot of nature, okay. uh, a lot of near the beach and it's near the coast as well. So it's really good. And you know what I'm looking forward to the most? I'm looking forward to having some Indian food for lunch. I can't wait. I'm so hungry. Uh, I can't wait. That, that was the motivation. There was a plenty of Indian restaurants in Sydney. <laughs> but but there, but you can't get anywhere else food like this in a okay. temple. Yeah, no, the Indian temples like uh, this one and uh, the Shaminarayan temple. There's another one quite I, famous. I have. So they always serve yeah. a fantastic food. I mean, obviously. They have a canteen and they will serve thalis, all right. vegetarians yep. you can try dosa. This one uh, is a South Indian temple, so you have, you'll have you uh, have fantastic South Indian food like dosa, idli and uh, and few other and they also sell samosas I guess. Fantastic. Sweets. So Urnima, show your face. <laughs> so Urnima is sitting at the back and uh, we'll just have a fun day today. So we are driving through Olai Creek. So Aaron, you mentioned that there's a bridge coming. What's this bridge? Yes, Tell us a little bit about We're it. We're about to cross over the Tom Uglies Bridge, okay. which crosses the Georges River. Um, it was built a very long time ago. As you'll see, there's two bridges. Um, there's the bridge that we're going to be crossing and then next to it is the northbound bridge which used to be the original bridge. So both the southbound traffic and the northbound traffic used to cross over the original bridge but you know as Sydney grew over time 
more traffic, they had to duplicate the bridge. So now the original bridge is exclusively used just northbound traffic on the right hand side over here and we're crossing over the newer bridge. Right, okay, so that's the bridge. Yeah. Okay. And this is the Georges River. So on the left hand side here is out into the ocean. Um, and then on the right hand side over here is goes inland. Right. Yeah, it's really looking great, the bridge, the old bridge. Yeah. And that's another bridge yeah, at the far. another bridge over there. Okay. Extraordinary. A lot of nice houses on the uh, coast just over here. It looks like it's low tide at the moment. There is another introduction that I, I actually missed previously. I mean, when I started putting videos on YouTube in May, June 2022, yeah. Aaron was very supportive of it. But initially, Fast 10, 15's video, especially our Alaska cruise video, I didn't have any courage to do any voiceover. <laughs> so I was putting captions. So Aaron said, no, this is not good enough. Ritova, you need to give voiceover. That's right. And uh, in two years time now, I do a regular vlogging. It's just a matter of practice. It's all thanks to Aaron because he is continuously encouraging and giving me inspiration that, okay, you keep doing it and do it better next time. I was one of your first um, subscribers. First subscribers, I'm the biggest fan of the channel. I started at zero and then uh, Aaron's number was 30. I enjoy this process and I'll keep doing it. So there is the sign, Sri Venkatesha Temple. So we are approaching and arriving at the temple. So this is the Sri Venkatesha temple. It's white temple and there is another side is very golden and we should be able to park somewhere. Going it looks here. stunning. We just arrived at the Sri Venkatesha temple at Helensburg and when we started from Sydney it was a bit cloudy but now it's a fantastic, very sunny, it warmed up and it's a beautiful day now. And the temple looks really stunning. Very similar architecture as of South Indian temples. And this one looking very gorgeous. So we'll just walk around this temple and take some good shot of the temple. It looks stunning. It became a very sunny and beautiful day and look at this decoration and the ornamentation of this stunning temple. So Aaron, you say that you came here as a child I 20 did. years ago? I did, yes. I with, was, with your mom? No, I went with one of my neighbours. I had some um, Indian neighbours and I went there here with their family. So that was really cool. And I remember, I remember taking my shoes off and I remember having some nice food here. So yeah. I'm that would be, to do that's that again. the same experience yeah, I guess today I as wait. well. So we are taking our shoes off and obviously that's uh, definitely required. And uh, so I don't know whether they are going to allow photography inside. We'll see. We'll see. So now we're going inside this Sri Venkatesha temple. It's pretty big. So Aaron was uh, fascinated with the red dot and the white dot on the forehead at the Hindu temple and so Orunima was explaining things and obviously we couldn't do any photography inside so Orunima got some sindoor and, and uh, Orunima is going to put some on Aaron's forehead because Aaron is very very interested to try that yeah so you want to put something on Orunima's head okay wow yeah there we go <laughs> <laughs> so Aaron is at least uh, Hindu for a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> so Aaron, how was it? <laughs> Fantastic! I loved it. It's very interesting. And uh, um, but, um, you were such a good teacher. You've taught me so much about the religion. So and I'm the most maybe, maybe most wrong. <laughs> yeah, probably, probably all the stories I said. No, I think there are some stories I said I learned from my grandmom. Yeah. I'm I'm very atheist, hmm. but at least I know the stories because. 
the, the Hinduism has got a very strong background of the common people. Yes. It describes all the societal problem and all the god and goddesses are a form of the common people. Yeah. That's why I love about it. I'm not religious, but at least I find it very uh, yeah. scientific as like a social it's science. It's definitely historic. Yeah. Great, great, great yeah. choice, great choice <laughs> for a Sydney well, day out. <laughs> We saw the priest inside doing the puja and uh, it was really nice. We saw the arati going on and we had the uh, offering, the charanamrita we call from God. Yeah, and okay. the blessing from the priest as well. Fantastic, yeah. So let me put the correct uh, background Yeah, here and you describe your feeling. Very lovely, very calm inside. Everyone is very contemplative and there's aroma of the incense, a lot of color, a lot of, um, you know, visual stimulation. I loved, uh, Ritaban was telling me the story about, I think it was Krishna, his reincarnations. Yeah, just very <laughs> interesting story. I was kind of amazed by that. That part of the story could be the most wrong part I described. <laughs> but, you'll but have at to least fact check it later. <laughs> fact check it later. Okay, fantastic. And you see, this is written a uh, 25th anniversary. Yeah. So that's part of the temple, I guess, they built in 2010. Looks really stunning. So outside the temple, they were giving some beautiful food. Yeah, there's a family who offered some puja and yeah, they are So what's inside, Ornima? This is like a pulao or? Yeah. Pulao and halwa, I think. Yeah, yeah. halwa. Yeah. So, semolina pudding and... Okay. So, Aaron, uh, test it and tell me. It's kind of like a temple mini food mm. vlog. Nice. I'm it's sure you, a, you had pulao before. It's got a curry flavor. It's a little bit nutty. It's a little bit spicy too, which I like. Uh, it's quite lovely, yeah. And the other is the halwa, is the semolina. It's, it's like a dessert. It's mixed with uh, sugar yes. so this try is, that this is probably a little bit sweet then yeah. yeah very sweet and it's cooked in clarified butter we call ghee and that's, that's lovely yeah hmm. th these are very very, very very nice very nice food yeah, lovely. always lovely. and freshly made and they, they just cooked it and they're just distributing it for so free that was a family that yeah. was there. somebody they offered this to the god and now they're offering it wow, to other people that's who so come nice. to the temple that's that's really nice yeah yeah, it's a beautiful spot, really. I'm, I'm loving it. The weather is just gorgeous and it's looking really good. Mm. And the food is also... It sounds delicious. Let's try. That food, the pulao, was uh, very nice. It had curry leaves and it was a bit sour in test. Because I think it had got some tamarind uh, in it. So it's kind of like a tamarind rice. And the halwa was subtle, not very sweet. And it was really lovely. Look at the site. What a wonderful site this is. And from the temple side, we are now going to the other side where this big eating area, the canteen, where they're selling a lot of variety of Indian, especially South Indian food. Dosa, idli, bara. So we'll try that. Such a wonderful sculpture. There are some eating areas outside so you can buy your food and come outside to have your lunch. Look at how many people are queuing for the food. The food was extraordinary and the dosa, idli and bara all were delicious and they have separate uh, queues. So on the left hand side you order and on the right hand side you collect and that was very organized. So you see, after after a while, after queuing, and we have got our food, and uh, we are just sitting, and we are ready to eat. We have ordered a lot, so I'll explain. So Aaron has got a big appetite, so we got a, a, a plate of idlis, three idlis, and sambar, and chutney for Aaron, and a masala dosa. So that's for Aaron, and he had a mango lassi. He has already finished it and he loved the tamarind rice so much 
he's taking it away for tonight. <laughs> and we have got uh, idli and we have got a bora plate and we have also got masala, masala dosa to share and also we have got mysore pack and uh, laddu. Morocco. That's that's a pack of Morocco to take away. So all in all, we have a lot of things to eat. So Aaron, how do you feel? I'm starving. I'm ready to start. I'm okay. Eating. I'm eating. Okay. Start eating. Dosa is delicious, and this coconut chutney and the sambar is also exceptional. Very nice, freshly made. It's like homemade. Homemade, right? Yeah. And this idli is looking. Pretty good size idlis as well, isn't it? So, do you like idlis, Aaron? I like this. Yeah, this is quite nice. It's got a nice flavour. It's vegetarian too, which I like. It's nice to have something different. I hope you like the food. I mean, how was the whole experience? So full now. I had a great meal. Uh, tried some things that I hadn't tried before. Really good, really authentic Indian food, South Indian food. We actually bought a couple of sweet dish, uh, one laddu and uh, one Mysore pack, and that was full of made with full of ghee and uh, clarified butter. It smelled nice. And Aaron has got some takeaway, takeaway. a box of tamarind rice for tonight. Oh, what a wonderful experience! Can't wait. Thanks for bringing us here. My pleasure. <laughs> Mysore Park is the best part. And uh, the hotels like the dosa, I think I thought the dosa was really nice. Yeah, so was good. It, it, all the food uh, tasted like it's homemade. That was proper idli and dosa and uh, the bora was really nice. I never had this for many years and it, it tasted really good, very authentic. This is really a spectacular temple and all these decorations and this ornament on this pylon is just fantastic. Such a beautiful black sculptures and the white background. It looks so pretty. What a wonderful structure this is. It's white, but so gorgeous. We'll just walk around uh, one more time before we leave. 